Dana here from buyinit.com and for today's video, I am gonna share with you my tips on how to make your basic sofa look cool. So when I say basic, I mean kind of a generic sofa that's not too design driven, that's something common that most people have, that's kind of universal, it's not too expensive. How do you make that cool? When it comes to interior decorating and especially decorating your living room, the largest piece of furniture that's the most relevant is gonna be the sofa. So if you have a sofa that you either hate or is not in your base style, you might actually wanna consider starting with changing that sofa because that's really creating the grounding foundation for what everything else that's going on in the room. If you have a sofa that's basically works for you, it's pretty simple, it's generic, it's basic, nothing special about it, then keep on watching this video because these tips are gonna help you elevate it to a more design forward vibe. grandma's sofa, it's curved, it's tufted, got a wood frame, totally French. It actually does look chic, but you have to style it a certain way to make it look cool and relevant. So in this before picture, she had the sofa, it's dark green velvet, which is totally in right now, but in the context of the room, there was like brown paint color on the wall. It looks old fashioned, tired, it's not popping, it looks sad. So in order to make it cool and relevant, I applied a couple of different design rules to the mix. So it's like old fashioned, antique, dark, and feminine. So we're gonna apply opposites and we're gonna do something masculine, straight lined, modern, and high contrast and light, okay? And that's, this is the end result. We added black and white striped pillows and the stripes, the lines and the stripes are directly the opposite of the curves in the sofa. For some reason that always ends up working in interior design to do opposite shapes. The black and white really adds a nice contrast to that dark green velvet and literally makes it come alive. It brightens the entire feeling of that space. And we also added black and white in the accent chair across from the sofa and some of the other accents in the room. Uh, the drapes especially, and I had her paint her walls white. So adding a level of contrast, especially black and white, which is a great neutral, will bring up and brighten a dark color. And adding the modern elements really make, then they make the antique granny curvy feminineness of the sofa stand out when everything else is pretty clean and streamlined. The next example is something you're probably gonna see with a younger person or someone who's just starting out within their, you know, decorating their first apartment or something, but I wanted to include it because it looks so chic. The futon essentially really reminds me of kind of a Moroccan vibe, the outdoor seating or these kind of, you know, low to the ground seating arrangements that can be extremely elegant and timeless. And so my solution for how to make a sofa like that look cool would be to add Killeen pillows. Even on like the most basic of a sofa that's not expensive and it's just really simple and utilitarian, adding something like a Killeen pillow, which is handmade, has a beautiful texture, interesting history, it's iconic, it's, going to elevate it and make it look more expensive. You know, with an unfinished wood frame, there's something like very casual and utilitarian about it. The Killeen pillows also have that same spirit. They're often used outdoors. They're meant to withstand different conditions. So Killeen pillows on this kind of like day bed, rustic, very simple, streamlined sofa, I feel like is a beautiful pairing. Here's another example of an outdoor beautiful, you know, banquette kind of seating arrangement. They're hardy, they can withstand being outdoors, and it looks so sophisticated and stylish. The modern leather sofa can obviously be styled to look very chic. And what I recommend is to play on opposites again with using nubby, fuzzy texture. So in this example, she had a very simple white leather sofa from Ikea, and we picked out this Moroccan boucherite rug. Boucherite rugs are a type of Moroccan style rug that are usually very colorful. They have a lot of geometric patterns, and it's a very kind of like a medium pile and that like modern eclectic vibe. So if you're into the modern and you can handle a lot of color and pattern, I love pairing this leather sofa with a fun rug like this. 
If you're more on the Scandinavian look and you like more neutrals, more simple, more minimalist, you can do sheepskin, a sheepskin throw or regular throw pillows and pair it with like maybe velvet pillows, something a little bit more subdued, but a plain, simple, clean line leather sofa goes really, really good with accents that have a lot of textures. So everybody loves a sectional sofa, let's be honest. And sometimes you just want a nice dark sectional, right? You want something that's easy to clean, is not gonna get dirty or show fingerprints. But what can happen is you end up getting this huge dark sectional that becomes a big dark hole in the room. So you wanna break up the modern sectional then with a bunch of different pillows and accents that have patterns of various scale and color. So starting with a kind of our first base piece, I chose these like lattice pillows. Then I threw in that green leopard. Then we threw in another little leopard pillow, which is like kind of my signature. And then we went with this kind of medallion rug just to add a lot of variation. And just to kind of finish it out, I also added this like leather tufted chair. And the tufting on that chair is also very similar to the inspirational image, but it also actually adds in another texture to the room because the sofa is one long, you know, element that doesn't have any tufting and it's just pretty much reads as a solid. I wanted to throw in a chair that had the opposite feeling of that, both in the leather and in the tufting to add another layer of pattern in the room. The image here is a sectional, but it also comes in a sofa size. And I just thought this is such a good example of just your regular standard beige sofa that so many people have. And this sofa actually came with these two accent pillows, which they often do. So how I would just punch this up to make it little, look a little bit more design forward is that I would add another layer of pillows on top. And in this case, I again went for the black and white striped pillows. That's kind of my thing, guys. But if you really look at it, adding that pattern and that white base on the on this like beige and blue it does actually make it look more stylish and design forward and then the take to take it up even a step more we added again this little moroccan velvet pillow to just add that little bit of zhuzh you're actually adding in a handmade beautiful thing that elevates the cheapness of everything else. It's like taking it out of cheap, regular, basic territory and making it look like someone who's kind of more sensitive to design, which is a good thing. You know, if you're on a budget and you have to buy a budget sofa, it makes sense to throw in a little extra money at the pillow if it's gonna do so much in the room and it's not really, $80 is not like a huge, you know, investment you know it's not like a major you know dent to the budget this is, was a very budget friendly project but i feel like the overall look actually does look really stylish and purposeful and warm and complete so those are my tips on how to make five of the most basic sofas look cool if you feel like i missed anything please let me know in the comments below and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful or you got an extra tip or an idea that you hadn't thought of before and definitely hit subscribe for more videos on interior decorating and sign. Talk to you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.